Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. We're back. All right. So, today we're on the last trial period of Turnabout Sisters, so we're, probably, we're probably finishing the chapter of this episode. No, no, no. We're continuing. We're continuing, we're continuing with this. <laughs> the game's just like, no, you've had enough. All right, so this this trial period should be pretty straightforward. There's only one witness. Okay. September 9th, 9.52 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby, number one. That's very specific times. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah! Phoenix! Look! What if it isn't Edgeworth? Prosecutor Edgeworth. I received a call from the public prosecutor's office yesterday. He told me what a- wait, HE?! Oh, that's a typo. <laughs> I guess. She told me that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. Stupid. What? Does White have this judge in the, his pocket too? So, you're saying I'm going to be guilty. End of story? I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like that? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Dang. Edgeworth, you've changed. Hmm? Phoenix! You know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? Phoenix! Well, court will be opening for session soon. What? But wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet! He's not- I'll be defending myself. What?! Okay, let's do this! Are you allowed to defend yourself? Self-representation, baby. September 9th! <laughs> That's normally allowed! September 9th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number one. <laughs> Court is now in session. <laughs> the court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. That's forever my picture. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Oh, yeah, man. Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, yes... Today, we will hear the testimony of another witness to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like... it's like he already knows why. Hmm, if anyone's gonna raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. Ooh. <laughs> objection? Let it go! How do you object a witness? Then, like, the entire thing Well, no, thing you, you be object done. to being like, why wasn't he called yesterday? Oh, okay, sure. Mr. Edgeworth, you owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Maya Faye? Hmph. I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides, at the time, I thought that Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. Great. Great. He gets to show off and I get nowhere. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> let's just make like Elsa and let it go. Forget it. I smell a trap. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. Ugh, your smile is the worst, dude. Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? Uh, your name? Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my locutions confuse? Name? These two are great together. <laughs> my name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. <laughs> I, 
I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim, Miss Mia Fey? That would be a negatory! No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder? Correct! And you witnessed the murder from there? Ahem. Why tell you what you already know? Very well. Mr. White, you may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? I have your back! Ho ho ho! <laughs> uh. I hope you've made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Let him have it, Phoenix! Witness testimony! Witnesses account! Wait, this so, guy sucks! Okay, so I'm just trying to imagine, like, Phoenix, like, I'm gonna defend myself, and then Maya's just like, Woohoo! Yeah! Woohoo! Like, just standing she's right there. She's your co counsel, essentially. Okay. Okay. Let's see. It was about 9 o'clock, I believe. I was quietly pursuifying, er, uh, that's reading to you, some papers by my window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then that I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Never mind the fact that Miss May testified to a complete, something completely different from the day before. <laughs> Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Hmm. If things occurred as you testified, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant. Er, I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examination! Witnesses account. This guy sucks. Subtitle. <laughs> Let's see, it was about 9 o'clock. I was quietly... I forgot to say... Hold it! How do you know what time it was? Because I am always absolutely perfect, you know. But he just said no, 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 no. <laughs> You're not getting away with that. You are so mistrusting, Mr. Lawyer. So, what was the proper term for secretary again? Anyway, Miss May ordered room service for 9 o'clock. It happened soon after the room service arrived. Hmm, that's what Miss May said too. Press further or hold back. Press further! True, the bellboy who brought the coffee saw Miss May. But he testified that he did not see you at the time. Ahem, this is your concern? Silly lawyer, Miss May received the coffee outside the room. Of course he could not see me. How he would need x-ray vision to pull something off like that. How would you leave the door? Why would you close the door? That's dumb. Tell us, what were you doing at the time? I was quietly- Hold on, I need to go hold back now! I don't see anything to gain by attacking him on this point any further. Okay, what were you doing at the time? Quietly pursuifying? Man, your, your made-up words are stupid, Mr. White. By window, you mean the one directly across from the Fay and Company Law Office? Correct! That is the only window you see. And there you were, reading... papers? Correct! The Gatewater is a businessman's hotel, and I am a busy man who had business <laughs> to do! <laughs> then I heard a bedroom. Did you now? A bedroom? It must have been when you attacked, I assume. We see. Continue. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. So you were reading your papers until you heard that sound? But of course, I am no snoop, peeping out of windows at night. Never mind that you gather information as mm -hmm. your business. No snoop? <clears throat> yeah, right, you made a career out of snooping. <laughs> it was then that I saw him. S spiky haired? But that's it? <laughs> Phoenix, you ha can't deny you have spiky hair. I mean, come on. What you just said directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Thank you. Miss May clearly stated that the assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? He's like 20, 20. Counting both eyes, 40. 40? Don't add them together. <laughs> I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Hey, whose side is the judge on, anyway? Not yours. The judge is never on your side. What did you do then? I called Miss May over here at once. 
Exactly, which is weird. Like, yep. <laughs> what was Miss May doing at that time? She had just finished watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping openly. Did you know she had been tapping the Faye office phone? Irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the case at hand. I care not. I will answer the lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone of this Faye woman. You'd make a good politician, Mr. White. Oh, yeah, you would. Ho-ho! After all, I am El Presidente. Please continue. Yeah, this guy... This guy is... Such an awful human being, but... Yeah. He's far from the worst person in this area. <clears throat> really? Can you be a little more detailed about that? Mm. I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course! Comprende! I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? As you know, I am always absolutely perfect. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. I am always absolutely perfect. <laughs> the victim ran to the left and you gave chase. But Miss Faye, didn't she say right? Very good memory. Yes, she did. Are you sure about that? How many times must I say it? Oh! Wait! But May... It was her right and his left. That's why. D okay, you are solving this case real fast. Okay. I am absolutely perfect. End of story. I remember that, because that was like the one thing that they kept from the previous case. Do you remember that? No, the that finger was... statue was the finger. Well, yeah, that, but I'm saying that was the one thing, like, piece of information from May's thing. Oh. Oh, yeah. Phoenix! <laughs> How many times did I hear him say absolutely perfect? Something about that strike you was a little odd? I mean, I'm figuring it out over here! <laughs> Finally, there's a terrible impaction. Um, impaction? Don't you mean just impact? Ridiculosity! I think you need to brush it up on your language skills. On second thought, perhaps I better leave the whole language fiend alone. Did Edgeworth prep this guy too, I wonder? Oh, yeah. Anyway, I better find a weakness in there. Gave chase. It made testimony. Victim dodged an attack and ran to the right. Objection! Wait right there! Mr. White, you've dug your own grave. Oh yeah. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. But that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim went, ran right! Oh, it is simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here, and the victim here. If the victim ran to the left, as you claim she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? <laughs> Very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, Fe shut up. <laughs> Look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he really did see the victim run left. So he did witness the killing. Wait a second. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Miss May says right, and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Well, heck yeah. Mr. White is right, Miss May is right, or both are right. Both are right. Actually, I don't think I've ever heard what happens to you. As Mr. White has testified, Mia ran to the left. But, but if that's the case, why would she run in the opposite direction of, from the door? She did not. She was running towards the door, Your Honor. He's like, you're an idiot. Blah! Now you're the one making a contradiction, Mr. White. Not at all. Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Ba ba ba. Miss May is right. As Miss May has stated, Mia ran to the right after she was attacked. But what is this? I am not fashioning fabrications, I assure you. That lady ran to the left, I am sure of it. Then there can be only one explanation. Eh? And that is... Both are right. Both witnesses are telling the truth. For once. <laughs> <laughs> Ha! Huh, I doubt it. Er, uh, rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There's one scenario that wouldn't explain their conflicting accounts. What? 
Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. <laughs> wow, he looks like very similar to Frank saw it when he's like that. Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? He was not viewing the crime from the hotel? If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices of Fay and Company, of course. More specifically, he was standing here. Show the court where Mr. White was standing. K. <laughs> what if we said V? <laughs> that would be funny. Oh, um, uh, um, yeah, there we go. That's where he was! M Mr. Wright, we are not fools. How could he have been exactly where the victim was standing? Oh. Oh, right. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Sorry, Your Honor, sorry, let me try that again. Sweet. <laughs> it doesn't even penalize us! He's getting this. where the prime plan is! Boom! Uh, boom! <laughs> That's where he was. Hold it right there, Mr. Wright. If he was there during the very act of murder, that would make him an accomplice. Impossible. There was no one other than the criminal and the victim in the room. There is no evidence, no proof to the contrary, none. S sorry, er, let me try that again. Everyone's just so okay, kind to Phoenix right. Stark. Uh, it's a second trial. Yeah. That'll work. It's pretty generous for the trigger. This is where he was. Look! When the victim ran to the door, if he was watching from this point, to him it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That's where the killer was standing! Order! I will have order! Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? r, -r rapscallion The pro postulations of the defense are a distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. Ho ho ho! You provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's... laughing? The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more? Wow. Of course! That's always acceptable! <laughs> Let's hear your revised testimony. Good luck! You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. Mm-hmm. Witness testimony! She ran to the left. That's slain for something else. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left. And then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. That is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? Hmm, that does seem to make sense. Will you be cross-examining the witness's testimony? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> you bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. Can you see the contradiction yet already? <laughs> um, I need to look at it a little. <laughs> well, let's press first. What do you mean by that? That is what I'm about to explain. You're, you Americans, always so impatient. It does not become you. You're American too, dude. Red, white, Wait, blue. blue. <laughs> hey, buddy, you're an American too. Thank you, Phoenix. You and I are kindred souls. For a sec, I was like, maybe he's supposed to be British, but like... No way. What do you mean, for... Oh, I just realized, what would that have been in Japan? Like You, you ja Japanese! You Japanese people are so impatient. I just realized that... <laughs> I was getting uncomfortable sitting in that. That's okay. Get, yeah. Ah, there we go. What do you mean first? First? That is what comes before what happens next. You do speak English, right? Please, sit back, relax, and I will try to use show. I will try to use simple words for your benefit. First, she ran to the left, and then Then you hit her savagely. Not really. I didn't hit anyone. Now now, Mr. Wright, there's no point hiding things from this court. I'm not hiding anything! The prosecution requests the defense refrain from interrupting the testimony. Mr. Wright, you have been warned. Why is he mad at me? 
I agree. Like, this guy is the worst. He, he would be held in contempt immediately. What do you mean, next? Next is what comes after first. <laughs> I know that! Then that is all you need to know, Mr. Lawyer. As I said, she turned and made a desperate dash to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. Stop saying it was me! <laughs> but it was you. Mr. Wright, if you claim that it was not you, then show us proof. Ah, can I do nothing, Wright? Nothing? <laughs> May I continue? Yeah, it's guilty until proven innocent in this. That is what Miss May saw. So each of you saw different parts? Absolutely. That's right, of course. Where did he pick up that annoying phrase? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, moving along. You see, you hit her twice. So were you watching both times? I suppose I was. And please excuse me for not testifying to this sooner. What do you think, Phoenix? I think we've got him right where we want him. He slipped. Let him laugh for now. I'll soon wipe that smile off his face. Can you see the contradiction now? I don't think so, but... Do you want to try to figure it out, or...? Hmm... Run to the left, run to the right... Hit savagely... Well, last time, the blow killed it with one blow instead of two. Okay, so maybe we should check the autopsy report? Yeah, check the autopsy report. Died from a blow by a blunt object. May have lived for a few minutes after being hit. That's the updated autopsy. Yes. Died from a blow. Yeah. That could be. You chased her and delivered the final blow. That is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Eh, wrong, dude. Okay. Um, do I really have to click for that? Yeah, apparently I do. Uh, objection. Okay. Mr. White, the victim died from a single blow. What do you have to say to that? Er, uh, er. Uh, Now's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this court that you were abso positively perfect? <laughs> I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Thank you. <laughs> Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a ten minute break. Yes, yes, quite. The witness is confused because he's lying. I emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Yeah, we want justice! Don't let him get away! <laughs> Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony. The crowd's on my side! No slipping out of this <laughs> now, White. Phoenix! <laughs> Mr. White? Uh, okay. We're breaking him. <laughs> yes. Um... Well, see, I, I looked out the other window when I heard that fiend fall. There's only one window! Then, the next moment, I saw Miss Mia run to the left. The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then she turned and ran for the door. Then you did her in with a single blow. Flap. Okay, this is terrible. <laughs> hmm, flap, <Flap-ing>. indeed. <laughs> Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. Mr. Your Honor... My stomach, you see, it is hurting. Deal with it. <laughs> this is almost over. <laughs> yes! Yeah, White's kind of a complete utter idiot. Well, let's see, I, um... <laughs> you heard that Thane fall? What exactly was that Thane? Huh? Oh, oh, that! Um, the glass white stand. Right, the one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix! Doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Yeah, very odd. <laughs> nope, <laughs> nope! Huh? No, not really. <laughs> Her face says it all. Please continue your cross examination. Yeah, that is odd. I'll press fervor. Mr. White? Huh? What? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Y yes then change your testimony to reflect that. S sorry my bad. The witness will revise his testimony AGAIN! <laughs> oh, okay, okay, of course. A light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. HOLD IT! 
The glass stand was lying on the floor? That's the first I've heard of this. Why didn't you tell us about the stand before? W why? Me? W well, uh, I was instructed not to. Wait! One moment! Give me a minute to gather my thoughts! I am so... so confused. White's falling apart. Your Honor, please, I ask that you not allow the witness to be badgered any further. M Mr. Wright, please refrain from badgering the witness. Yes, Your Honor. Edgeworth is on the ropes. <laughs> Very well, the witness may be continuing his account. I love his sweating pose, it's so okay. satisfying. Miss Mia? Mr. White, did you know the victim personally? No, no, no. Triple no! How would I? How could I? I see nothing odd about the witness knowing the name of the victim. Mr. Wright, I will not have you harrying the witness. You're looking a little flustered, Edgeworth. It's about to- well, not like his- <laughs> I didn't get the cell phone face. Sure. <laughs> now, before you said that uh, she was hit before she ran. Y yes, I must have been confused. But don't worry, we all know what happened now. She turned and ran for the door. What did you do then? I gave chase, of course. No! No! Not me! The, the killer, I mean. He gave chase. <laughs> wow. Mr. White, please try to remain calm. Mr. Wright here is only trying to fluster you with baseless accusations. Oh, oh right. Thank you, Miles. That's what, that's one of the few characters in the series that refers to him as Miles. That's interesting. Miles Tails Power! <laughs> Flap? That doesn't sound like the savage attack from your earlier testimony. Ho, ho, ho! Yes, well, I am a man of peace, you see. Phoenix! He's getting a lot less talkative. He's probably afraid I'll catch him on something, but it won't be easy. <laughs> Alright, any idea where the contradiction lies? Um... Do, 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 I mean, do. he literally said he was the killer, basically. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's apparently not enough to incarcerate him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's um, just there to be like, yeah, white, you suck. Um... Uh, let me go through. To the left, okay. She did job. Okay. Any more? Nope, that's it. That's it? I don't know. Okay. Just pick. Well, for Flash one thing, how would he know that's the glass white stand? Oh. And furthermore, uh, if we go to the next page, if you look at the floor plans, the glass white stand was nowhere near the window. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Mr. White, it was impossible for you to have seen the glass stand. What? Look at this. These are the floor plans to the scene of the murder, yes? Correct, Your Honor. Now, look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you would be able to see. Here. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White? What do you have to say to that? Uh, uh, ridiculousity. Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell, either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So, when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fay Law offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. I can't tell if he's crying or he's going to burn. Mr. White? He's going to kill us Mr. All. White? You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor? I... I... Miss Mia. Heh. 
Looks like we're about to get our verdict. Objection! That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. What? I forgot about Edgeworth. <laughs> Mr. White, I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now, hmm? What? I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. The wiretap? Order, order! Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss Mife. What does that have to do? Your Honor, the question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office, and by who? No, you wouldn't! Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Faye's office. Am I correct? No. C correct You are most correct, Miles! Give me a break! Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Faye and Company law offices. That is when I saw that accursed white stand. Now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what this all means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand. At the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White has been to that office well before the murder took place. He went to the place, the wiretap. He could have seen the glass light stand then. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright's fury is revealed for the baseless conjecture it is. He loves the word baseless, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretap. Ahem, <laughs> leave it to me. You I, still can get arrested for this. I feel faint. Well, yeah, but it's not as bad as murdering someone. Sure. <laughs> the wiretapping. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fane Company law offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Hmm. So, you saw the stand before the li night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over by the sound? Correct! That is right. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine. Gah! What am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. Cross-examination. The wiretapping. A.K.A. Red White is a criminal. <laughs> it was the beginning of September. D do you have any proof? Miss April May knew the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Uh, right. Was it really you that went into the office? Or was it Miss May? Unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in the Fay and Company law offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. And if I know Edgeworth, he's already run a check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Fane Company law offices. Of course I'd done so to do something illegal. <laughs> yeah. Why did you tap Miss Mia's phone? This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. Why did you notice something as innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a butatious fiend deserves attention, does it not? Oh my gosh. That is all. Damn it! There's nothing there for me to press him on! Oh well, maybe he's rattled enough that I can bluff something out of him. I have literally no idea. You don't have any idea? That's because there's no contradiction there. Uh-oh, don't tell me I've run out of ammo. 
I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright, are you giving up? Never give up. Y yes, Your Honor. Phoenix! Something! Phoenix! Over here! I don't know who this is. I know that voice. M Mia? Oh, never mind. What in the world? <laughs> never give up, Phoenix! M -m -m Mia! I guess she is a spirit medium, but still. Where... where am I? The waiting lobby? What happened? Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Ah, you're finally awake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Phoenix! Gak? It's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Aren't I pretty? <laughs> Your... M Maya? Didn't you know that the Fey women have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So, Maya is channeling you, Mia? That's right. I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. But, but We don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won. Huh? You have that receipt in the court record, right? Um, oh, yeah, the one you wrote Maya on? Phoenix, White wrote that, not me. So, so what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. A thousand dollars at Home Depot? Wow, big spender. Item, glass light stand. Date of purchase, September 4th. September 4th! That's right, Phoenix. I bought that stand the day I, before I was killed. Whoa, what a coincidence. <laughs> now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? Blah, 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 beginning of September, the week before the murder. He said he saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Right. Receipt updated in the court record. Well, now that um, Mia literally talked to us, I think we got this. <laughs> <laughs> September 9th, 1.16 p.m. To your court lobby, no. Courtroom number one. Is Mia here, or is it Maya? Both. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is the defendant rather... Are you alright, Mr. Wright? Yes, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then let's start where we left off. So no one else could see that it was Mia? So that's the weird thing, like because you feel I feel people like people rarely okay. draw attention to it, okay. but people do see it. It's okay, because I feel like the judge would be, or like the witness would have been like, "She's alive! She's gonna kill me!" Like I feel like so. That been it. The question is, everyone can see that they've channeled somebody else, but it's rarely drawn attention to, essentially. Okay, Your Honor, there's nothing to go back to. The cross examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright. <laughs> hmm. Your Honor, please, give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But, as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Mr. Wright his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Hi, I materialized out of nowhere. <laughs> it was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Uh-uh. Objection! 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 Objection!
Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? Wah! <laughs> You're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The, the other side? Your Honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt? Hmm. Well, a glass light stand. And the date of purchase? Why, that's the day before the murder! You see, Mr. White, when you allegedly entered the Fay and Company law offices at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there! That was lovely. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No, it's impossible. Uh-oh, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Very well. Then, that is all for the trial of... Not so fast, Phoenix Wright. Eh? What? No way he can worm his way out of this one! Oh wait, I forgot. It's Edgeworth. Yep. He's like, thank you. There's a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claims. However, there's no concrete proof that Mr. Phoenix Wright is innocent. Ergo, I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. Oh boy! I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Hmm. Another inquiry? This isn't going to be one of those updated autopsy reports, <laughs> is it? This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. Object, wait and see what happens. Obviously, we got to wait and see what happens. <laughs> hmm, I don't know where he's going with this. I better hold back for now. I see. Very well. As there is no objection from the defense, I grant Mr. Edgeworth his extra day. Uh-oh. <laughs> The completion of further trial of Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. No! There's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now! Edgeworth is sure to come up with or just make up something. After Mia showed up to help me and all. What? No, wrong safe state. Whoops. <laughs> Object. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There's no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth? If anyone is going to call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether your claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm. I see. Objection denied. What?! The completion of the trial of Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. Da! Are you serious?! <laughs> well, this is not good. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course, thank you for your time. Gah! The witness will stay. M mia Phoenix, read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? Memo received from Mia. Your Honor, if I may, I gotta take a look at this. Mia's memo, a list of people's names in Mia's handwriting. All right. Interesting. Your Honor, if I may. You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet I am! My wife is writing <laughs> on this one! I have something I would like to read to the court. My attorney's bad number! No! That's not it! I can't mess this one up. Something the matter? N no, Your Honor. As I was fumbling through my pocket, I accidentally hit my attorney's badge. <laughs> The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities... That's when it happened. S -s stop Desist! Halt! P please stop! Make him stop! How? How did you get that list? Mr. Wright. Or White. Admit your guilt. Right here. Right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. I... I confess. I confess. I... I did it. 
I hit her. I hit Miss Mia with the finger. Case closed, Your Honor. <laughs> Great cases. Well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? You've done it again! That was quite a spirited defense. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that, if only you knew how spirited it was. <laughs> hmm, well, this court finds the defense, ahem, <clears throat> rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright, not guilty! <laughs> Confetti! That is all. The court is adjourned. Oh, Edgeware ain't gonna be happy about that. Oh, yeah. We just broke his perfect record. September 9th, 2.24 p.m., District Court, Defendant Wabi number 1. Did every single trial we've had end at the exact same time, 2.24? Well, that, yeah. That's ridiculous. They gotta take a coffee break. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again, but congratulations. You're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you live? My time here's running out. Huh? Maya's powers are still weak. She lasted that long, though! I can't it's stay true. here for that long. Wh what? No! There's still so much to say! Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Ch chief <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix, can you come to the office tonight, say, 9 p.m.? Because I'm going to die again. <laughs> the office? I'll see you later. Chief, Mia! September 9th, 9.02 p.m., Faye and Company Law Offices. I swear, if Maya dies, I'm going to be so mad. Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. You came! Mia. Oh, I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then. I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? <laughs> Mia? <Mia? laughs> you should have seen your face! Mia? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's me! Maya! M Maya? What? Did I look like my sister? Look like you were her! I may be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix! Go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? That's... <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's April May's voice. Um, uh, Maya, why are you here? Because of this! See? Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of... Huh? She means the office. This office. Someone has to help her with the new right and co... and co law offices, right? And who better than me? Maya Fay reporting for duty! Wait, no, on second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick! Maya here, ready to get down to business! You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name! Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick? You know what this means? We're partners! You know, when I think about it, it is Maya's fault I'm here now. But... If it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Right in company law offices. It's got a good ring to it. Yeah! Thanks, Maya. Oh my gosh. This is kind of sad and nice. Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here. Watching. You truly belong with us. In, in the, the clouds! clouds. <laughs> <laughs> right! Okay, Nick. Let's do it! Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy! There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on, time's a wasting. Uh, okay, wait up. The end. The very Americanized version of ramen. <laughs> that's, that's definitely not supposed to be ramen. Brand new episode has been added. It's we unlocked be miso Turnabout ramen. Samurai. <laughs> and as I've said, I think I said this at the beginning of the Let's Play. Every case is better than the last in this one. Oh, The sweet. cases just get better and better. All right. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Unfortunately, the next one's also longer. So. Ah. But that's okay. It introduces us to a lot of very hilarious new characters. Sweet. So.
So look forward to that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, you should definitely tune in for the next one. Because again, each episode is better than the last. Or just hang around until the fourth and fifth ones, which are epic. So, okay. Either way, hope to see you in the future. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.